What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Two Chaku Podcast. As always, we are your hosts, Xavier and Alton. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Join the Discord, and don't forget to pick up something for yourself in that Teespring merch store. All links are in the description boxes down below. Other than that, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Stop. Just, no. Can't get copyrighted. I, I wish they would try to copyright us. I don't. I'd be lowered <laughs> up so quick. Would you? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. Yeah, so uh, welcome back, everybody. We are finally doing the mid-season reviews, even though I know it's a little past mid-season. mid-season. Not as bad as... So uh, we're doing episode one. <laughs> what? <laughs> At least it's not as bad as sometimes. <laughs> well, technically, we're only about a week behind, because everything I'm watching is on episode... I think there's only one episode eight out so far. Oh, everything on mine is episode eight. That's crazy. Except for one, which is only well, I think episode, episode eight six. came out this week. So yeah, I guess technically we're two weeks behind. Yes, but for us, that's that's not bad. That's basically us caught up. Yeah, that's not bad. So <laughs> we'll say it's because uh, we don't want to spoil anything, and uh, we'll stick to that story as long as that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, how many did you keep? Well, how many were you watching? And how many did, did you keep? How many was I watching? Um, not including continuations. I was watching one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And you kept seven all five? With, seven with continuations. You kept all five? Yeah, so far. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. I was surprised myself. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I was watching uh, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good lord. And I only kept seven, six ish. One I didn't catch up with, and I don't know if I will. I think I'm still I'm still debating. I'll probably watch episode two, but that's fair. We'll see. It's 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 a debating one. So I guess I could start with that one, because maybe maybe someone listening is uh watching it. Let me see if I can find the English one. Please do. Uh, the ice guy and his cool female colleague. That oh. one. The only reason I'm kind of debating about it, it's it's not because it's not good. It's not because it doesn't look good. Because it's probably one of the best looking ones that aren't like you know, kind of big budget, big name anime. Mm-hmm. It's probably the best looking one that's out. It's just the two lead characters are just so monotone and like no emotion about everything you know hey but that's right up your alley well for me when (laughs) i'm the one you know oh okay (laughs) it's the one where the guy's like a yokai then he's part uh part snowman so like you you tell how he feels depending on whether or not like the weather changes because he he can create snow and and ice and stuff, but everything else is it's just so monotone. Well maybe I mean maybe that's supposed to be how the anime is and as it progresses he gets oh, more Maybe but extroverted with his emotions. It's it's the whole theory in Twilight where they're like why was Kristen Stewart way, acting so awkward while playing Bella? But it was supposed to be like a play on like she wasn't She doesn't know like, how to she, act. Yeah. Th- no, <laughs> this was the theory is this that is like the, 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 the character Bella was supposed to be like this awkward teenager because she didn't know how to like her. Her true purpose was being a vampire. So when she became a vampire, she felt more in her skin than when she was a human. So maybe okay. that's what they're going for. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh <laughs> Maybe it is. That's the one where I'm kind of debating. I'll, I'm going to end up watching probably episode two and three. But whether or not I continue it, I just, I don't know. Because it's one of those that I know 
it's gonna end with like no progress you know mm-hmm. it, it'll end with yeah them being a little more open with each other but like that that's probably as far as it's gonna go so i don't know but the other one that i dropped was that uh what's the english name the legend of heroes trails of cold steel no northern war i don't remember that one yeah, no, I can't do that one. It's just... You know, when things are so military, you know what I mean? It's like fantasy it's military. It's the one where it's like there's so much information and backstory that I feel like I needed to know. I feel like I have to go back and read like what it says like three oh, times gosh. to understand what it means. And I'm just like, Count no. Count me out. Yeah, no, thank just you. no. So that was a drop. That was a hundred percent a drop. I wasn't. That's fair. I just can't. That's fair. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? When things are too military, it's just like okay, I'm good. Unless it's like crazy, <laughs> but like this is not. <laughs> this is not. It's indeed not. not. It's pretty unfortunate. So yeah, that is a drop. Let me reload my list so I can get off of it. Thank you. All right, so. I know you said you were going to watch this. I don't remember if you actually did. I think you did. The Tomo-chan is a girl? Yeah, but unfortunately that's not one I'm caught up on. Really? <laughs> that's the one you're not caught up on? Yeah, man, I got priorities. Ah, oh, man. That should have been one of them. I'm, you can I'm, talk about it, though. I, I, I don't Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I know. like it. Obviously, I'm not going to... Sp- there's nothing really to spoil, not yeah. because things don't. I feel like it's just things it, don't it's, change. It's an episode by episode type of anime where it's just yeah. like you know they they introduce new characters and it's kind of yeah. like there's the plot go the plot goes by episode to episode mm-hmm. instead yeah. of like an overarching plot. Yeah, it's it's really episode to episode kind of plot, kind of like story to story because some of them mm-hmm. are like split. The episodes are kind of split in half. Mm-hmm. So, like, the plot isn't told in an overarching thing so much as it's told in, like, the character interactions that you just have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, if you're... I'm on episode, like, three, though, so... Okay. like that. Yeah, you're not like that. Yeah. So, like, what's the... I guess the best way to describe it, like, is you'll see, like, the, the main guy have a conversation with someone, and he'll react a certain way. And that expresses how he feels. There's not going to be, like, a scene where he's, like, sitting down, opening up to, like, a friend about how he feels about Tomo. Like, it's just, it's not going to happen, you know? Or, like, it'll be expressed, like, in a backstory and he'll be like, yeah, like, you know, I look up to her. I feel like I'm not good enough for her. Like, I got to beat her so I could be good enough for her kind of thing. And that, you start seeing, like, okay, so that's probably why he's not, like, hey... I got these feelings for you. Man needs to like, just Yeah, he does, you know. Just grow a pair. Yeah. So I'm liking it though. It's fun. It's it's What's the best way to describe it? I don't know. It's obviously it's a slice of life kind of romance, but it's comedy thing, you know? And it leans heavily into comedy, kind of parody romance parody romance kind of thing. But it's fun. It's nice. Keep talking, but I can't hear you. Oh. Really? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's that's going to be a hindrance. <laughs> no, it's these headphones, man. All right, so new headphones it is. Uh, next on the list, I guess. Yeah, so I'm enjoying it. Definitely going to keep watching it. Going to watch it through to the end. Now, this is one... This is... It's really one where I see ending one or two ways, and I feel like they're both equally possible, you know? Yep. Where he either ends up with her at the end, they end up together, or they end up at least expressing how they feel to each other, not really a couple, or it just kind of, you know, goofs off till the end. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Both feel equally possible. Which is like, I gotta find out, but I hope it's... I we'll hope see. It's the other one. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. It's not that I dislike it, but yeah. uh, we'll, see. we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see. 
We'll see. Uh, you still you caught up on uh, giant beasts of ours? Of ours? Am I caught up on that one? That's the ours no Kyoju. Yeah, that's one one of the ones I'm caught up on. At least the episode six. Liking it? Yeah, I'm digging it so far, man. I'm I'm uh. It's cool enough for yeah. me to keep watching. Like, there's there's nothing yeah. that I've seen that or I'm like, I don't think I'll watch it. I wish, I feel like it had potential to be a lot more, yeah, like cool. I guess you can say, yeah. Um, and I can see that they're trying to like, kind of like, they're starting to kind of like drop all these little like. Plot like hooks, story big, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's like okay, cool, but it's really not enough for me to be like, oh, I'm a hundred percent invested. Like, I gotta know what happened next. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I feel like they're kind of like just like okay, like they're giving you know trying to give you a little bit of information each episode yeah. about what's truly going on behind the scenes and what happened, and you know mm-hmm. all of this and all of that. But the backstory. I also, it ain't enough. Like, yeah, I mean, the honestly, the only thing that's keeping me invested is the fighting, I guess you can say. Yeah. So. My boy Spear. Yeah. Yeah. It... I want to see more of uh, the old, old guy, bro. He pulled out that. Katana. Oh, yeah. Of uh, what is this? Zest uh, the Decrepit or something? Z- I was oh, like. Dang. Is it Z- I think it's Zed or Zen. It might be it's Zest. something the Decrepit. And I was yeah. like. My man's dope. My, my man was put in work with uh, the yeah. one dude with the um, against the size. blue hair guy. Yeah. yeah, man, he was so cool. No. Yeah, I mean, I need more of that. Now, if we get more of that, yeah, I'm here for it. It feels like it has a lot of potential, but it feels like it hasn't really come into it yet. You yeah. know what I mean? Now, episode six, I feel like okay, maybe we're getting there, but like. What was it like to up to like episode four? I was like, I may have to drop this because it's like they go to a place, kill a monster, pick up a a, a teammate, mm-hmm. go to a place, kill a monster, pick up a teammate, and it's like, okay, like is this? I tell you one thing that's, that 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 is gonna probably be the cause of me to drop it, and it's all yeah. them damn cat puns. <laughs> I'm but tired yeah, of reading that's, those. That's what's gonna do it. That's the cat do puns. It. Honestly, though, I just skip over them. I'm gonna be completely when I'm reading. It's like I jump over it to the next word because I'm just like it's just so dumb. So dumb. It's so dumb. I don't know what it is. It's just so dumb. But yeah, I mean, maybe you're loving it if you're watching it. I personally don't think it's coming to its own yet, as far as like potential. But we'll see if it does. I mean, the backstory and what happened looks looks like the most interesting part. And it looks like mm-hmm. we're finally going to get into that. So, Hopefully. We'll see. I'll probably end up finishing it just because, uh, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to ride the disappointment out, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, man. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> um... All right, the next one I'm watching is that, uh, what is it? Farming Life in Another World. Mm. Which I don't know why these farming lives in another world ones are blown up, but... I mean, it's chill. It's like, it's real chill. It's one of those that's like... It's not so, like, realistically chill that it's just boring, you know? But it's nice. It's nice and slice of life chill enough. To where it's like each episode feels like it's like 15 minutes. You know, they feel pretty short, even though they're not. It's good though. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. If you want a chill, sort of slice of life farming thing, where this guy is unbeknownst to himself, mega OP, but that's not the point of the story and it doesn't delve into that. He's just like, nah, I'm just trying to farm, dog. (laughs) I'm just trying to. I'm That's just fair. trying to chill out here. I would be too. You know, maybe you'll enjoy it. And there is some, there is kind of some romance, because he, uh, 
He accidentally proposed to this vampire girl. He didn't even know he did that. But oh, he okay. did. And then she I've was been like... There. Yeah, and then she was like, um, okay, I guess I'll accept your proposal. And he was like, proposal? And she was like, um, are you saying you weren't proposing to me? And he was like, nah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we'll go with proposal. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So, it's fun enough. I'm enjoying it. Gonna continue watching it. That's fair. I guess my slice of life of the season is a uh, campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. Are you still watching and, um, them? Yeah. That I thought that was chill, the one man. you it's, said it's, you might drop. It's 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 pretty chill. It's uh. That's the guy with the with the wolf thing. Yeah. He, he he makes a contract with a like crazy. It, it its name is Finra, uh, of course. A crazy like legendary wolf monster mm-hmm. uh, in this world, and um. So yeah, he, he man's just he has to feed this wolf. So he he's been like he has to start from the bottom. So he um he he gets summoned to this world as one of the four heroes. You know, classic isekai, um, classic. and all of them get like unique skills, and he gets. Basically, Good. the skill to order. No, he, his skill's not cooking. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. You said it was his, ordering stuff. From, yeah, from his world. From he his get, world. Like Amazon Ter- stuff like, to his world. Terrible skill. So, but apparently, <laughs> he he. So he's been like like throughout the six episodes. Like I said, they're kind of slowish. Uh, I mean, yeah. I personally like them because obviously, if you're somebody who likes food, like they're they're pretty interesting. If you like isekais, they're you know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, so he's been slowly like, uh, like building up his money and stuff like that. He's been practicing mm-hmm. magic and, but it's funny because like his food, when he cooks for people and he gives them food and stuff, it boosts certain stats for them. Oh. Um, uh, so he ordered a so bunch of, wants to go there. Yeah. Well, I like think that's what he's buff. leading to is yeah. he's going to start like try to open up his own like restaurant essentially. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but he's smart. it's funny because the wolf, um, it uh uh like he they it end up like um killing some monsters and stuff so he went to go sell them and he made a bunch of money from it and stuff mm-hmm. and so he was like oh like we're gonna have a feast so he ordered like a bunch of st- like foods from his world yeah. so, so that they can try and he ordered wagyu steak and oh, it no. boosted the wolf's stats so good that the wolf went on like a killing spree because he just had so much oh. energy and he like, oh. killed so many it, it, he was like note to self never give this thing wagyu anymore he's <laughs> like i mean at this point it seems like you're gonna have to because otherwise it'll turn around and kill you be like give me my stats boy <laughs> well no it doesn't even care about stats it's just a glutton it just wants to eat oh, okay. all the time like oh, that's all enough, it cares about so um so yeah i mean that's pretty much been the anime they the you know, it's been episode to episode where, you know, he's been exploring this world, uh, making money and just cooking, yeah. cooking food. He just wants to cook, bro. He's like trying not to save the world. Like, you know, he's trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, he just <laughs> wants to be chill. Yeah. He just, he's just like, bro, I just want to yeah. cook, bro. That's why I'm watching the, the farming thing, because it's the same thing. He's just trying to chill. Now, people keep coming around him. So he's like building a town. But like, <laughs> he's like, I'm just trying to chill. Which is great. Which is I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Like, right? Like, I'm just trying to chill. Chill, slow life. You know, being a farmer, just growing tomatoes and onions and stuff. <laughs> like, you're a tomato. Oh, okay. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. So, yeah. So, th- so that's Alton and mine's uh, chill little isekai of the season. Because I guess at this point, you're gonna have an isekai of the season because there's always. Always an isekai. Always an isekai. As far as my romance of the season, it's the angel next door spoils me rotten. That's, uh, well, I mean, it's in the title. I mean, <laughs> it's in the title. It's two high school kids. They live next door, and she spoils him. Now, I mean, she. That's all I'm looking for, man. Right? He, he like, found... So, the whole thing is he found her one day, and she was, like, sitting out in the rain all, like, depressed, and he was like... As one does. You good? <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> you good, dog? And she was like, I'm good, just sitting in the rain. And he was like, 
yeah, you're not good. <laughs> so he was like, here's my umbrella. And he just ran home. You oh, know? okay. And then the next day she was like, here's your umbrella. And I made you some food as, as thanks, you know? And it just, it just goes from there, you know, where she's like, she's giving him the food. And then she looks inside his apartment because he lives by himself. And it's like a wreck. And she's like my dude, you can't live like this, bro. And he's like, ah, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> what do you mean I can't live like this? So, you know, the relationship develops from there. And I'm liking it, especially because it's like, you know, it's one of those where the relationship's actually, like, developing. Mm-hmm. And it's not one of those where it's like, kind of classic relationship develops, but then here comes a rival and blah, blah, blah. It's mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's none of that. It's just like these two kids developing a relationship between each other whether or not they end up together i assume they will i assume they will yeah otherwise it's just here's the thing about romance things there's two ways to do them you either have a long actual story that you know is written and plotted out or it's Mm -hmm. gotta be like a short thing it's hard to drag on romances for a long time without people being like because it, it gets to the point where it's like hey, all right bro like i'm starting to lose interest like yeah. either yeah we'll get together or yeah not i'm tired of yeah. the back and forth and that's yep. one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to like romance in like mm-hmm. tv shows and stuff it's the I whole know, like bro. oh we get together Four something seasons happens for them to get together. yeah like <laughs> oh, oh i like you but yeah. I, oh, I, I don't like you right you. now because yep. I'm with this person. You know, mm-hmm. they break up. Okay, here's your chance. Oh, but I don't want to be a second option. I'm, I'm with someone I, else. Or but, something. Oh no, now my feelings are coming back. <laughs> yep. like, bro, it's so stupid. I don't I hate have it. Time. I hate it. No, <laughs> just yep. get them together. <laughs> so fortunately, none of that. There's none of that. They're just you know, and most of it. Here's the here's the good thing. Most of it doesn't take place at school. You know. Most of it takes place just between them. Just That's chilling perfect. out, eating food, talking falling to each other. Falling in love. Yeah, just falling, just slowly falling in love. And it's like, nice. That's my romance one of the seasons, so I'm not mad at it. Mostly because, like, is Tomo-chan a romance? Yeah, but it's it's a comedy romance, you know. It's not like, it's not strictly romance. Do you have a romance one this season or no? Nope, cause I ain't no punk. Dang. What else you got? Cause I only have two left. Do you not remember what else you have? Oh. Okay. No, the last one I watched or caught up on is a, uh, um, uh, high card. Oh yeah, is, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, I forgot I said I was gonna. If you're not watching watch High that. Guard, definitely go check it out because uh, it's definitely, I think, in my opinion, the sleeper of the season. Uh, really, really interesting, unique concept. Um, at times, very brutal. Oh. Uh, but uh, hmm. but no, nah, I'm, I'm liking You've it so far. My interest. <laughs> I'm liking it so far, man. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm I'm curious to see where it goes. Uh, yeah. It actually was the one that I was keeping up with every week until about episode five. <clears throat> so, oh, wow. um, but yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with that one, it's basically about this the like gambling one, uh, the orphanage. Something. It's not gambling, man. Bets? <laughs> no, but it's because Duels? it involves cards. Does not mean yeah. it's gambling. Old um, maid. No, it's basically about it's it's all sort. Of, I guess you could say sort of like fiction, like a fiction setting and stuff like that. Um, right. But basically about these, I guess you could say two organizations trying to collect these cards that used to belong to this family, who uh, they used it to like during like this war and stuff like that, crazy stuff. Um, but the cards got all scattered across the the country essentially, or mm-hmm. the continent. I guess you could say, or the world. And um, so people have been like picking up these cards, and if um, you find a card essentially, and the card chooses you, you become a player, quote unquote. And so you, the the card gives you a special ability. And uh, so it's basically just about this this organization that I guess is ran by the king. Um, mm-hmm. Their their job is to like 
covertly collect these cards and keep them safe um, while there's obviously other players in effect that's trying to trying use to these get cards, cards for, and stuff. Yeah. You know, for nefarious reasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool, man. Um, I'm liking it so far. So Yeah. I meant to we'll check it out. We'll see if it uh if it if it keeps up. Oh my gosh, bro. My laptop's about to die. I forgot to connect my charger. All right, bro. I'm, I'm at fifteen percent, bro. Do you wanna plug that in real fast? Or, uh... Man, my charger is all the way across the room. All right. So we'll speed through this. Okay. So uh <laughs> next thing I'm uh uh watching is the Misfit of Demon Academy season two. And honestly, this is the only anime that I've ever seen and will probably ever watch where it's one of those like meme ones where you see like crazy smart people in anime kind of things like Caleb City did where it's like and uh, mm-hmm. RDC World did where they're like, I knew you were in the room because the molecules moved. Like, oh. like <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the one and only one that I'll do that's kind of like that. And it's just, I love it, man. It's just, it's so fun. It's so good. So it's a good season. It's kind of, this season is uh, convoluted to say the least. But uh, I just, I just love seeing the crazy explanations at the end where they're just like, mm-hmm. haha, we caught, we caught you. And he's like, you didn't notice that I like, <laughs> stop time, went back in time, like <laughs> killed your mom. And it's what, like, what? wait, what? <laughs> And I'm just giggling through it all because it's just, oh, uh, it's so good. I, d- I do wish it was, like, a little more action-y, but I understand why it's not because, like, he's ridiculously OP. Now, mm-hmm. I did like the part where uh, some people tried to attack his parents, and they were like, we're going to rip you limb from limb. So he literally just disintegrated them. <laughs> But he was like, I'm going a, I'm to a keep you alive for long enough during the disintegration so you can feel the pain. And I was just like, so, Tubbs, that's my man. Is, man. <laughs> so, uh, so good. S- really enjoying it. Don't know if there's going to be a third season because this is the one where the author died. So, I honestly wasn't expecting a second season, but, you know, hopefully there's a third one. I don't know if there will be, but... Last one is uh, Inspector 2. This is the second season of Inspector. That's the one where she is the uh, basically the, the goddess of wisdom for the yokai. And she solves their problems and whatnot. And bro, this, this last case, dog, <laughs> that she just solved. This man, he was betrayed by his best friend. He tried to murder him, push him off a mountain. His wife tried to his wife tried to kill him because she was having an affair <laughs> lord have mercy and then his colleague murdered his ex-wife <laughs> oh okay and, <laughs> and this yokai is like friends with him or she's you know they're not like in a relationship yet they're definitely going to be but she was like can you help my boy out because he's like <laughs> and she was like yeah i got you dog. hey he going through so it. yeah he's Man, he's been through it, dog. Hey, so. man, I'm on nine percent. So, all right, fantastic. So, Inspector season two, loving it. Fantastic. I really enjoy it. If you like kind of detective, supernatural things, maybe you will too. So, uh, to try and spare Alton's laptop any further, mostly so we can get this up in the first place. Uh, that's it. That's all I- <laughs> Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, join the Discord, and don't forget to pick up something for yourself in that Teespring merch store. All links are in the description boxes down below. Other than that, we will see all of you in the next episode of Chuchak. Until next time, guys.